to the King's Most Excellent Majesty. Most Gracious Sovereign, We, Your Majesty's faithful subjects of the colonies of New Hampshire, Massachusetts Bay, Rhode Island, and Providence Plantations, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, the counties of Newcastle, Kent, and Sussex on Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, and South Carolina, in behalf of ourselves and the inhabitants of these colonies, who have deputed us to represent them in general Congress, entreat Your Majesty's gracious attention to this our humble petition. The union between our mother country and these colonies and the energy of mild and just government produced benefits so remarkably important and afforded such an assurance of their permanency and increase that the wonder and envy of other nations were excited while they beheld Great Britain rising to a power the most extraordinary the world had ever known. Her rivals, observing that there was no probability of this happy connection being broken by civil dissensions and apprehending its future effects if left any longer undisturbed, resolved to prevent her receiving such continual and formidable accessions of wealth and strength by checking the growth of those settlements from which they were to be derived. In the prosecution of this attempt, events so unfavorable to the design took place that every friend to the interest of Great Britain and these colonies entertained pleasing and reasonable expectations of seeing an additional force and exertion immediately given to the operations of the Union hitherto experienced by an enlargement of the dominions of the Crown and the removal of ancient and warlike enemies to a greater distance. At the conclusion, therefore, of the late war, the most glorious and advantageous that ever has been carried on by British arms, your loyal colonists having contributed to its success by such repeated and strenuous exertions as frequently procured them the distinguished approbation of your majesty, of the late King, and of Parliament, doubted not but that they should be permitted, with the rest of the Empire, to share in the blessings of peace and the emoluments of victory and conquest. While these recent and honorable acknowledgments of their merits remained on record in the journals and acts of that august legislature, the Parliament, undefaced by the imputation or even the suspicion of any offense, they were alarmed by a new system of statutes and regulations adopted for the administration of the colonies that filled their minds with the most painful fears and jealousies, and to their inexpressible astonishment perceived the danger of a foreign quarrel quickly succeeded by domestic danger in their judgment of a more dreadful kind. 